गुड डे एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू द मास्टम चैनल मास्टम अरेना रमेश सांगवान और आज बेसिकली हम देखेंगे पूरा डेक जहाज का उससे पहले आसपास के जहाज जो एंकर पे खड़े हैं वो ये हैं और मैं इस टाइम अपने जहाज के सबसे फॉरवर्ड मोस्ट पार्ट में हूँ जहाज इस टाइम पे एंकर पे है आगे से ऐसा है और अगर मैं यहाँ खड़े होकर मेरे जहाज को देखता हूँ पीछे के साइड तो ये ऐसा दिखता है अभी जो हम देख रहे हैं बेसिकली वो है द फोर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द शिप और द फॉक्सल ऑफ द शिप आल शो यू फ्रॉम वन कॉर्नर सो यू कैन सी द एंटायर फॉक्सल ऑफ द शिप देन आई एम गोन शो यू द विंडर्स एंड आई एम गोन शो यू द वेंचेज रोप्स एंड एवरीथिंग वॉट ऑल इज वॉट ओके सो दिस इज हाउ द शिप लुक्स फ्रॉम द फोर्ड पार्ट ओके एंड दिस इज द फोर्ड मोरिंग एरिया फर्स्ट वे गोन सी द एंकर्ड right now the ship is at anchor so we have lowered the anchor so you see this this is called as the windlass where the chain is going so this is called as the windlass and you see this chain is leading down the anchor is connected to this chain this is called as the cable and this is called as the bow stopper okay this thing this is called as the bow stopper okay so you lift it up because the chain if it goes down it will be the weight will be taken by this bow stopper or the chain stopper and it will not let the chain go down so you can hold the anchor in this place so this chain is lifted up with this windlass this is basically the lever of the windlass to pull up or to heave or to lower this chain okay so this is the anchor windlass this what you are saying is the anchor stopper this what you see is the guide roller on which this chain slides and this is the drum windlass drum this is the clutch okay so what you do is you engage this clutch into this so it connects with the hydraulic motor then you can operate it and there you see is the spurling pipe this pipe leads the chain from the windlass onto the chain locker okay so that's called as the spurling pipe now this pipe is called as the hose pipe this leads the cable from the deck to the outside okay that's the hose pipe and i'll show you the anchor cable how it looks but right this is how the anchor cable looks like right now you have lowered the anchor so you won't be able to reach the anchor because anchor is already in the water so okay that's the windlass there now this is a mooring winch the rope what you see here is basically used to make fast the ship to the jetty okay so this is also operated with the help of a motor this rope goes from here then it goes from here goes from here and it goes from this panama fair lead and goes out and you make fast so these are a fair lead panama chokes this is called as a mooring bit this is a fair lead roller okay to guide the rope for example if you have to pass this rope from this panama choke this one here and then it has to lead to the uh winch then it will be guided with the help of this roller so that is why this fair lead rollers are there okay so that's the winch okay and in this winch that's the main drum of the winch and this is called as the warping drum of the winch okay you see there is one hydraulic motor with which you operate the winch there is one winch here there is one winch there and there the windlass also so one motor controls all the three all you have is you have the gear okay it's operated with the gear the gear is inside this casing all of them have this clutch so you can engage this gear with the help of the clutch okay for this you have the clutch here you see there and for this windlass you have the clutch here for the other winch you have the clutch here okay so this is the port side or the port foxel okay port side of the foxel deck and now we are going to see on the starboard side of the foxel deck you are going to exactly see the same things this is the number 2 windlass or the starboard windlass and this 
are the other two winches so you have four lines on the foxhole these four lines are called as the headlines and then you have the breast lines and the spring lines so this is the windlass then this is again the molar mooring bit fair lead roller fair lead roller panama fair lead winch okay so this is the foxhole of this ship now this is called as loose rope why because it is loose it is not on the winch so it is kept on the deck just in case the ropes on the winch are not sufficient then these loose ropes are used to tie the ship okay so you have one here on this is the starboard side and you have the other one there this is the air pipe okay this is the air pipe air pipe for the four peak tank you know when water fills in it is going to displace the air so where is the air going to come out it is going to come out from the air pipe of the air vent so that's the air vent this is a boy okay suppose at many various locations of the ship you you going to find this like boys if somebody falls in the water at this moment then i should be close to a boy so that i can throw this boy and the person in the water can hold on to this boy and can float this is the emergency light red color red color means something emergency so this is the emergency light so this is for emergency light for the life raft i'm going to show you what is a life raft at the later stage this is how the ship is you see that is called the accommodation superstructure the white building that is where the cabins are that is where the crew lives the port top part where you see the windows is basically the bridge from where the navigation of the ship is controlled and then on top you see the monkey island and the main mast and the thing rotating is called as the radar scanner this is what the white structure here is called as the forward mast there you see the horn or the whistle and on top you have the navigation lights these wires are called as the stays which hold the mast in place and there you have the anchor ball because right now the ship is at anchor so we have to have the anchor ball in place okay so that's the forward part of the ship now let me show you the spurling pipe closely the spurling pipe is basically where the anchor cable this is the anchor cable and it goes down into the chain locker so this is the spurling pipe okay that's the windlass the drum the you may have slight disturbance in the sound quality because right now the wind is a bit strong here okay. so the various valves okay this is anchor wash starboard side the anchor wash port side this is the pressure gauge of the fire line where you can see how much is the pressure in the fire line you need about 7 8 bars to have good pressure this is a fire hose box inside this you have a fire hose anyways i'll show you another fire hose uh, once we go back because wind is a little bit strong <coughs> so from the foxhole we have to go down now we're going to see the main deck these are the stairs i'll also show you my crew working on the deck right now they're working on a valve they're working inside the tank okay so these are my gentlemen crew members here working on the valve boss boss and gavin from philippines pumpy pumpy say hi okay he is my gentleman pump man on the ship i'm going to put this on youtube later huh okay so they are working on a valve repairing the actuator seal here you cannot disturb them more than this so let's go and continue with the video here is a life raft the capacity of the life raft is 6 persons so in case of an emergency this is picked up from here and this is thrown from where you see those stairs no thrown overboard and people can go into this life raft and you see i showed you that red light on top that is basically that during darkness that light is switched on so that this life raft can be lowered properly this is the ladder for to go into this life raft okay now <clears throat> this is called as a manhole to enter inside this place and this what you see here is called as the sighting port open this butterfly nuts take it out you can check the level of the water inside this sighting ports it says enclosed space lack of oxygen do not enter without permission so all there are enclosed spaces on the ship 
you should not enter those enclosed spaces without proper permit <coughs> this red line on the ship is always the fire line it runs through the entire length and breadth of the ship and it covers it provides water everywhere that's the life raft lowering portal procedure at the forward part of the ship okay all right then uh, from here we're going to go aft okay so this is how the ship looks from here now there are various uh, pipelines here i'm going to show you one by one what its pipeline is for this is called a fire wire you know when we are port this fire wire is lowered and made tight so if there is a fire on board the ship the ship may have to be moved out of the port so the tug will come and will pull out this rope another bit to make fast the ship okay this here what i'm going to show you is a very important structure on board the ship for the cargo tanks this is called as a pv valve okay this lower side is the vacuum side okay this upper side is the pressure side so you know there is when there is too much pressure inside the tank this lifts up right now i'm going to just going to show you how it lifts up but there is going to be some pressure coming out from here okay so this okay so so this is how it is lifted up and this is the vacuum side this is the port side and this is the vacuum side of this pv valve okay very important structure this is a pv valve for tank number 1 starboard that's a pv valve for one port and for each tank you're going to have a pv valve now this is another important structure this is says or fill alarm on board the ship so there is a float here if i pick this up right now you're going to get an or fill alarm so this is a very important safety feature on board tankers on board tankers no tank should be filled more than 98% so if it is filled up more than 98% this alarm is going to lift up this float is going to lift up and there will be an alarm okay this black line is the steam line there are steam heating coils on the ship on the tanks steam goes inside to heat the cargo but right now it's not in this bad shape this line is the cleaning line that is clean the tanks water is going to come through this line it is going in this line and from uh, here you are going to connect a washing machine not like the laundry machine but we have a separate machine i'm going to show you it at a later stage connect it here and then put it into that lift that cover out that's called as a butterwort pocket the machine is put in here and washing is carried out this structure here is called as a tank doom that means this is the opening of the tank from where people can go inside the tank for carrying out any maintenance for carrying out a work or not now again this is an enclosed space you are not supposed to enter into that space so it is always made tight there are gases inside the space okay so this is the tank doom for number 1 starboard cargo tank you have tank dooms for all the tanks okay that's a cargo tank tank doom now this is an air vent for the ballast tank okay now i'm going to show you one ballast tank from outside because you saw the pump pan and the bosun working they were working in one of the ballast tanks so this is a ballast tanks what segregated water ballast tank water is taken inside these tanks to keep the ship stable when the cargo is discharged this is another moving bit another roller guide rollers and then the winches are here these are called the spring winches for the spring lines okay that's the forward part of the ship which is so we just saw winch windlass winch main mast forward mast another winch windlass another winch okay so that's the foxel these were the pv valves for one wings cargo tank pv valves for two wings cargo tank and this is called as a foam monitor <clears throat> what happens is this comes from the foam line this comes from the foam line this is the foam line okay comes from behind aft if there is a fire foam will come out of this foam monitor and fire will be extinguished now why foam because foam is the best suitable extinguishing
fighting agent for fighting oil fires now because it is an oil tanker we need to have foam to fight the fire and foam comes to this foam line so this is foam line the one with the yellow band the other is with the yellow band is a foam line the other is a fire line so you have a foam line fire line we have seen the third line tank cleaning line and we have seen this um, streamline okay this is the safety way which you have to use during bad weather and all so we are familiarized with these lines the rest of the lines we are going to see as we go aft okay this is the radar gauge what happens is you know if you want to automatically check the level of the tank inside the cargo control room from here it is senses radar beams are passed level of the tank is monitored and the wiring goes directly inside the system motor weight levels that's called as the vapor lock and it is used for checking the level of the cargo inside the tank how you do it is you have a special equipment called as a UTI or an MMC you open this cover put the UTI here then open this valve and check the level now at any point of time you see this is a tank tank but you will not be able to see cargo outside you will not have vapors outside this is a closed system it should not be open because there are dangerous gases inside the cargo so it has to be closed so whatever you see everything is going to be closed if you are going to check the level of the tank also it is going to be closed if you automatic close tank room close pv valves no nothing should come out okay now let's go aft this is called as a bathot pocket from where you are going to put the tank cleaning machines this is called as a manhole for carrying out some maintenance in that tank inside the tanks if you see the marking on this it says two cargo oil tank starboard so this is tank number 2 starboard it says in close space lack of oxygen do not enter without permission so you have to follow these instructions okay <clears throat> now this pipe is basically the ig line inert gas line and you see this inert gas line is going inside this two starboard cargo oil tank right now the valve for this line is open and it is locked it has to be open and it has to be in lock position the key has to be with the cargo officer that's the chief officer and it has to be in open condition this ig line goes into all the tanks so the tanks are not pressurized like as i said when you're discharging the cargo the cargo is going out so something has to go in to replace that cargo otherwise the tank is going to collapse so that for that we put inert gas inside the oxygen content of the inert gas is less than 8% so that is not sufficient for the, to cause fire so fire will not take place that's the inert gas line if you see the inert gas line is coming from this line so that makes it ig line so we have already familiarized with those lines this one is the ig line okay we've seen the ig line also now this is another pv valve for the three wings cargo oil tanks the green ones that's another foam monitor okay so we have seen the ig line also you did these three lines are basically conduit lines the cables electrical cables pass through these lines now this cannot be left open on the ship tanker ship it can it's a it can cause a fire or an explosion hazard and that is why they have to pass inside this lines so that's the conduit lines you see the line with the blue color is in the deck and the second small line passing through this close to this blue line is the air line okay compressed air line on deck so you have the valves here you can get fresh water anywhere on the deck you can get uh, compressed air anywhere on the deck okay this pipe leads again this is ig line if you need ig inside your cargo tank there you are going to connect a hose from here from here to there and you are going to open this valve and you will have ig inside your ballast tank why because it may be possible that the cargo goes inside the ballast tank there are vapors you need to remove vapors that will not be ig this is the sounding pipe for a ballast tank you open the sounding pipe to check how much is the level of cargo inside now uh, level of ballast inside that this says winch only okay it says uh, winch is here winch and here is only so this is basically the place where we carry out helicopter operation the helicopter is not allowed to land on the ship but it can winch out of this area the person can come embark and disembark with the help of a winch that is why it is called winching only this is a tanker ship we don't have sufficient sufficient space 
for a helicopter to land so we have only a winching area so you see this yellow circle I'll show you the entire circle from the bridge I've shown it many times so that's basically the area where the helicopter is going to winch you see it cannot come close because there are tanker structures here they can the helicopter may collide with it for helicopter you see we have this fire extinguishers readily available here if you have a helicopter operation and we have a fire you will have this fire uh, extinguishers ready that's uh, the fire hose box foam hose box that's the fire hydrant and a fire hose is already connected here readily available to us now someone had earlier asked me to explain uh, what is a masterizer okay the structure which you see here is called as a masterizer this one the, the length height is about 11 meters and we have this masterizer so that it's a means of venting provided on board the ship when the cargo goes inside the tank the vapors or the air is it, there is no air there is inert gas inside all the time okay so the inert gas has to come out so how that inert gas is going to come out that is going to come out with this pipe this pipe is called as the masterizer okay uh, here we don't have a fixed fire extinguishing system on the masterizer but sometimes on many ships you have a fixed fire extinguishing system also what you have to do is just operate that if there is a fire that will extinguish the fire so that's the masterizer this is just a common uh, midship uh, light post on top you will just have lights some alarm signals and all okay and these wires which are going here and there are called as the stays so they hold the mass net base these are called as the reducers okay manifold area reducers that's a manifold i'll tell you why the reducer is used for later before that we're going to see this structure here that called this is called as a pv breaker okay so that's the masterizer and this is the pv breaker i have made a video on why a pv breaker is required and uh, how it functions please watch that video you'll understand what a pv breaker is okay <clears throat> so you've understood this area pv breaker now this is the manifold area this is a sopep equipment which is readily kept right now because the vessel is going to go for cargo operations and this equipment has to be readily present in case if there is a spill or anything okay so this is the manifold area i have shown you from the bridge what is a manifold area why we need a manifold area and these are the various connections number 1 number 2 number 3 you see right now there is a reducer connected 14 into 12 inches you can see this is because the ship's size connection is 14 inches and if there is the shore size is less than 14% or more than 14% how are we going to connect that to the ship so that is why we have these connections of different sizes okay so that's the manifold area this is called as the drip tray spill happens some cargo falls it is going to fall into this drip tray from there it can be put into the cargo tank at a later stage okay so this is the manifold area the port side and we have the manifold area on the starboard side then uh, sopep equipment again kept readily here there is the in this inside this red box is the emergency stop button for the cargo pumps when the pumps are running and if there is a leak or something anybody can press this emergency stop and the cargo pumps are going to stop then and there so the spill is not increased that's the crane of the ship okay it can lift 10 tons to a height of 20 meters huge capacity so that's the crane okay these are again so prep drums for collecting if there is any oil spill this store what we are going to see here is called as the midship store because it's located at the midships basically it's kind of a small workshop and a small equipment is kept here for working okay let's go inside this store nothing much just equipment here tools and equipments which are placed here okay so this is also pump mans and bosons workshop where the tools are there and gaskets ropes cargo samplers other things harnesses and everything is kept here so that's the midship store that's the gangway of the ship right now it is uh, secured but when we are in port it is basically lowered so for embarking and for disembarking from the ship uh, you need this gangway now the next store which i'm going to show you is called as the sopep locker shipboard oil pollution prevention equipment okay it's an oil tanker at any point of time they can oil be come uh, can come out on deck and 
this oil should not go into the water because then it can cause pollution so this equipment is readily available to the ship during cargo operations during other operations also these are empty drums to collect that oil and inside this store we're going to have this soap app store so let me open this okay so this is the store and inside the store we have the soap app equipment absorbent pads weld and pumps hoses oil osd oil spill dis dispersant again absorbent pads and sawdust and this is empty soap app drum okay this is uh, again rags so all this equipment is readily available to us so this can be used in case there is a spill what all equipments we have here is given in the soap app equipment inventory so inventory is here and all this equipment as per this inventory is inside this anyways this if you start looking at this is the starboard gangway if you start looking at each and everything it's going to be a 10 hour video which we cannot take so much time on this video okay i'm going to close the door this is called the dog okay the door is closed that's the starboard side uh, manifold and you see there these are cross these are crossover valves these are called crossover valves that's called a goose neck okay when you're stripping the line air is sucked into the line and the line is stripped properly these valves here these are called as the line master valves and these valves there are called as the drop valves okay now here you have a portable gangway also now the gangways which i showed you those are fixed and this is a portable gangway at some ports you cannot lower the fixed gangway so there you have to lower portable gangway so there's a portable gangway this is the line master valve which i showed you and these are cargo lines cargo line number three that's yellow line cargo line number two that's green line coming from aft from the pump room these other lines okay this is a tank cleaning line this is a marpole line foam line fire line ig line here and that's cargo line number one that's a red line this cable line so these are the various lines what we have on the deck of the ship so this is how the ship looks from the midship that white structure there is called as the shelter so let's say if you're walking on deck all of us start sudden it starts raining then you can immediately get into this uh, shelter and protect yourself from the rain okay so that's called a shelter now let's move aft that's the starboard gangway fixed gangway again tank room air vent this green place is the area for walking safely safety walkway that's the shelter and the foam monitor okay by now i think you have been familiarized yourself with the various line tank cleaning line inert gas line again tank cleaning line safety walkway pv valves these are the aft uh, spring winches these ones that's the shelter that's the crane that's the starboard midship locker inside this red structure here you have the fire plan so when the ship is going at the berth the fire plan is kept here so if there is a fire on board the ship the people from the shore they'll come they will immediately take out the fire plan and they'll know what fire equipment is kept where okay they can fight the fire that's again a mold that's the control for the gangway that's a life boy again panama fair leads and mooring bit fair leads for the ropes so the aft string winches pv valve accommodation superstructure bridge control room scanners monkey island various antennas okay so these are the radar scanners this is the main mast then these are the navigation lights uh, the christmas tree there is the country flag flying so we are in uae right now so uae flag again christmas tree lights and this is the bridge the wheel house where we control the navigation these are the cabin windows so these are basically crew cabins what you see that is the accommodation to superstructure that's the bridge wing okay so this is the accommodation area so let's move forward uh, that is the lifeboat on the starboard side 
and then I'll show you the live boat on the port side also. So first uh, we'll continue with the deck. Tank doom of another tank and <coughs> one important structure which I'm going to show you is, is that is called the deck seal. Okay, this is the pump room inside the door, door you see. Inside the pump room, these are the pump room blowers for the ventilation of the pump room. Okay, we won't be going inside the pump room. This is a small pump called as a Wilden pump. Okay, so if there is a spill or anything happens, some oil comes on the deck here. That oil will get collected here and with the help of this pump, that oil will be collected. That oil should not be allowed to go into water at any point of time. Okay, it goes into the sea that causes pollution, so it has to be contained on board the ship. So that's another PV valve for another tank. And <laughs> the next structure which I wanted to show you is this called as the deck seal okay I have made a video on this deck seal please watch this video that what is this deck seal used for and thus this is the known return valve if you see the channel again then you'll find there's a video on known return valve also so <coughs> watch that video also so this is the deck seal in order to understand the deck seal watch that video you'll get to know what is deck seal okay tank doom of another tank then uh, this is the fire hose box earlier we said we're going to see what is inside so we're going to open it here now and we're going to see what is there inside this fire hose box so this is open so that's a fire hose nozzles and this fire hose is connected to this fire hydrant okay this one this is called as a fire hydrant and then you can take water to any point wherever you want so as to extinguish the fire now let me just close this fire hose box first it is supposed to be kept closed at all times okay this is called as the porthole or also called as the window normally we call it the porthole now this plate what you see here is called as the fish plate you see it is raised above the level of the deck this is for the reason that if there is an oil spill here this oil will not go into the water this oil is going to get collected here and from here the wilden pump is started and then the oil is put into one of the cargo tanks this is called as the bunker manifold so when we bunker means the fuel what we use for the <coughs> running of the ship so if you're taking any bunker that comes here crew members have made this chair to have some fun time during evening sitting here these are hydraulic uh, drums, hydraulic oil drums for various purposes, the hydraulic used on the ship for lube oil and all. Okay, now we are going to the stern deck or the poop deck of the ship and we are going to see the mooring stations. Before that we are going to see here, this is called as the scupper, this is basically a hole inside the deck. So if there is any water getting collected here, with this hole the water will go out. But right now it is plugged, so that is a scupper plug. It is plugged because we are going to go for cargo operations and if you go for cargo operations if there is an oil leak that oil will go into the water so that to not to allow that oil to go into the water we have the scupper plug. You see <coughs> that's an accompanied baggage search area so if there is an accompanied baggage search to search this. This caution marks are there. This caution marks are there means that you are entering into a mooring area which is dangerous. Okay right now no but when we are moving of course yes that time it is dangerous and you have to be very careful so again you have panama chokes here and you have fair lead rollers this is the stern deck poop deck of the ship bits the aft mooring winches see now same like what we had in the forward warping drum of the mooring winches you have the bed you have the loose rope <coughs> deck of the ship and that's the control of the mooring winches and the stern mooring winches. Now I'll stand in one corner and I'll show you the entire poop deck from this corner. Okay, so this is the entire <coughs> mooring area. That's the funnel of the ship and this is the engine room casing superstructure as seen from aft. Okay. Now if you see there are many air vents. This is also an air vent, the blue thing. 
it is colored blue that means it is an air vent for fresh water this is a fresh water filling pipe so there is a fresh water tank for drinking purpose for any other purposes and uh, the fresh water gets collected there this flag is the flag of the country to which the ship belongs to or the where the ship is registered now this ship is registered in ethiopia so the ethiopian flag is there at the stern of the ship the country where you are visiting is on the main mast the flag is there on the main mast which you already see this is the emergency towing apparatus okay in case if you have to tow somebody then we are going to lower this towing apparatus and this is the towing wire and the towing winch okay now this is the light stern light and right now it is on okay it is on at all the times the anchor light is now the, there are two lights here the stern light the bottom one is the stern light you see two light one two and this is two anchor lights one two right now the ship is at anchor so the anchor light is on when the ship is navigating one of the two lights will be on <coughs> this is the other mooring which mooring bit what we say right now and uh, filling water for another uh, slow up uh, fresh water tank that's the air vent for the after peak tank and these are the aft mooring winches all right so that's the stern of the ship loose ropes kept here loose ropes are kept because we will be going for uh, mooring today we are going inside the port and this is the aft of the ship how it looks like you see this fire line coming from the steering gear room because there is the fire pump from this it comes here and it goes everywhere all around the ship and you will see fire hoses and fire hydrants and fire line everywhere all around the ship okay so we have seen the stern of the ship then uh, i'm going to show you the garbage locker and the paint locker on the ship where the garbage stored this is the fire line which we a uh, fire wire which we have seen another mooring boy and another value dollar so now we are moving out of the poop deck you see the fire line all this red line is the fire line so now what we going to see this area is known as the china passage the area between the accommodation superstructure and the engine room superstructure this is the garbage collection area which is as of now nicely stored this is a crane for picking up provisions so this crane moves on this trackway okay so when we pick up the provisions let's say this boat will come here and we have to pick up the provisions so this crane will move till here on this trackway okay and now this is the garbage collection area so various kinds of garbage is kept here whenever we get an opportunity we land this garbage right now we have not been in port now the sound will be this so this is this place is called as the skylight engine room skylight so in case if you have to lower any machinery any equipment spare part inside the engine room this is used because of the heat they have kept it open now uh, i'll show you how it looks inside the engine room from the top okay so this what you see is the engine room okay. not the entire engine room just the glimpse of it some day we'll go inside the engine room and we'll see okay so this is the garbage collection area and these are the posters on the garbage collection area the garbage disposal requirements food waste is collected here recyclable material is collected here then uh, plastic is collected here and e waste is collected here okay that's the fire extinguisher for the paint locker so this is the paint locker of the ship and there is a sprinkler system which goes inside for the fire fighting purpose inside this paint locker so let me show you what is there inside this paint locker i have opened the door before you open this paint locker make sure the ventilation is on how do you switch on the ventilation every paint locker you have a exhaust fan ring button here switch that on switch on the light and then this is the inside of the paint locker Our ships are made up of iron and steel, so there's a lot of rust, and uh, you have to de-rust and paint in order to maintain your ship. But before entering this, you have to read this: prohibit entry unless associated ventilation fans are running. Anyways, we are not going to go inside. I'm going to show it you from outside only. So these are paints. Lot of paint is kept here. Really very expensive. Okay. So that's the paint locker. 
the person in charge for the paint locker is the bosun it says do not stack above this line because this line is the sprinkler line you see this red line this is a sprinkler line these are called as the sprinkler heads water is going to fall out of this sprinklers if there is a fire and if you start the sprinkler system okay so i'm closing this door now the paint locker is closed the next room i'm going to show you is the garbage locker very dirty place on the ship the entire garbage of the ship is collected here and at that first opportunity this garbage is landed ashore so that's the garbage collection room for the garbage room and the garbage this is a garbage compactor so as to compact the garbage when you land the garbage the garbage is calculated as in volume so when you it does it's not on weight so you have to compact it so that the amount you have to pay for landing the garbage is reduced it occupies less space so for that you have to compact it so that's a view from the stern there's another ship at anchor close to us and uh, we are here at anchor at hamria there is another ship little bit far away from us a few more ship ships which we can see anyways there's another room called as the suez canal room this is basically you know when the ship goes into the suez the crew comes there from uh, the suez canal authorities they stay on the ship in case any mooring or anything is required so there is a separate cabin given for them so that's the suez canal room of the ship there are about 6 beds inside and there is a toilet so six bunker beds are here for them okay so they can stay here and take some rest that's the suez canal room and that's a common toilet for them anyways right now nobody is there so it's shut so you can see my face hi everybody okay thank you okay so we've seen the suez canal room from inside <coughs> we're going to move outside from here and then we're going to move uh, around the accommodation now so we've seen the china passage again uh, fire hydrant garbage collection area crane i'm now going to show you the gym of the ship uh, what all equipment is there okay before that i'll show you two more compartments one is in co2 room so all the co2 bottles are kept for fight fire fighting so this is the co2 room never lock co2 bottles are provided to fight the fire for engine room purifier room and pump room on the ship so it says prohibit entry unless associated ventilation fans are running ventilation fan should be running for at least 15 minutes before entry so you should not be entering this space okay so this is the co2 compartment where the various co2 bottles are kept here you see this is a co2 bottle filled with co2 if you release this lever the co2 will release and it will go through this pipe it will go to this common pipe and it will go to the space where you are releasing this before release of the co2 these alarms will ring so that's an alarm bell for uh, pump room purifier room engine room okay pneumatic power phone starting the exhaust fan and a fire alarm manual fire call point and this is the control panel from where you are going to release the co2 there is a key here so you push here take out the key open the box the moment you open the box it will give an alarm and then these are the pilot cylinders inside what you see these are the pilot cylinders you open the pilot cylinders and with the help of the pilot cylinders you see this pneumatic line coming from the pilot cylinders all the cylinders this thing will be opening up automatically so that is called as a gang release system or chain release system of all the uh, extinguishers marked for that space and the co2 from the cylinder will go into this pipe you see this pipe from this pipe it is going to this pipe from this pipe it is going to that pipe from there it is going to that pipe and that is going into the engine room or whichever space it is being protected all these valves are controlled pneumatically okay with this help of this pilot cylinders i don't have enough su space sufficient here so not able to describe it clearly 
but every CO2 room you'll have this instruction chart for CO2 extinguishing system and you have to use this read this and fight fire I mean the CO2 is going to extinguish this there's uh, nothing much to show here in this CO2 room so that's uh, just the CO2 bottles which we've already seen okay it also gives the number of bottles for each uh, place total number of bottles is 115 okay so let's go out of here that's a CO2 room on top of this CO2 room is the emergency generator room in case all the power fails on board the ship the emergency generator will give power for the important equipment on board the ship before going there let's see the master station of the ship so that's you see those uh, yellow spots here that's the master station of the ship okay we won't go forward otherwise the blower running sound disturbance will be there so in case of any emergency everybody is going to muster here that's on the starboard side upper deck all right next we're going to go on the emergency generator room but we're not going to see anything inside because there's nothing to explain inside the emergency generator room that's the half of the engine room superstructure and that's the poop deck mooring stations okay so here we have the emergency generator room we won't be going inside right there's the life rafts kept we'll see those later let's first go to the gymnasium on this ship i've not seen anybody going to the gym maybe because everybody is too busy but otherwise people do take out some time to go into the gym more ships at anchor here there one one another one another one okay you see this fire line is everywhere on the ship okay so that's the gymnasium of the ship even i'm coming here for the first time after i joined the ship there's a phone alarm control panel treadmill then uh, some weights that's me in the mirror music system i don't know whether it is operational or not running or not then some weights and i don't know what machine it is whatever it is used and then something here that looks like nobody is using this place basketball and uh, that's the table tennis table but it is kept in place only secured nicely in some corner so looks like nobody is using this so by looking at this gymnasium it seems as if nobody has been using this gymnasium for a long time maybe people are too busy but this is one place here you know you can cover that area and you can cover this area and then you can use it for playing cricket normally people do that okay so that's the gymnasium now this is the lifeboat okay there are two lifeboats one on the starboard side one on the port side on the other side and uh, in case of an emergency everybody goes inside this lifeboat but uh, that we are going to see some other day again now where are we going is uh, we will be going to the lifeboat master station so this place is the lifeboat master station if you see yeah, there's the lifeboat master station everybody who is supposed to go in the starboard lifeboat is going to master in this area okay that's the embarkation ladder uh, that's the ladder so you have to use this ladder to go into the lifeboat and these are the life rafts okay 16 persons each throw the life rafts into the water and go into the life rafts all lights which are marked red are emergency light that means they will be provided power from the emergency generator okay that's the live boat deck the live boat uh, we're going to see some other day now this is i think i've covered the entire ship more or less so this is the navigation light the starboard side light from behind it is white taken an entire good round of the ship uh, i hope with this gentlemen uh, this was a good familiarization for you of 
how it looks like on the ship i thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share it with your friends subscribe subscribe this channel so it motivates me to make more such videos thank you and have a great day